This is episode three in our series of P320 uncommanded discharge tests. Today we're going to be covering the striker lock. Is it possible that the striker lock spring could get dislodged or be installed incorrectly in such a way in a factory gun that it could cause the striker lock to fail or be disabled and then permit the pistol to fire if somehow the striker was able to depart the sear? We're going to investigate that. Ballistics Research Facility gunsmiths that issued the MPD FBI report did believe that the striker lock could become dislodged and perhaps contribute to some kind of a uncommanded firing. The gunsmiths noted the difference between the striker lock on the left, which has a pocket for the striker lock spring, versus the modern one on the right, which does not. That MIM striker lock was discontinued in early 2015. There were generational changes in striker housings as well as striker lock springs. We have examples of all of these going back to the very beginning of the P320 project along with examples of slides from recent production, as well as some that go back to the very beginning of the P320 in 2014. Engaging and measuring all of these, we're able to get a really good set of dimensions for the stack up between the striker lock, the striker housing, and the mortise and the slide it fits. And in measuring all the various different varieties and generations of springs as well, we're able to determine definitively that the striker lock spring cannot get between the striker housing and the striker lock and disable it. In attempting to do so, we found that there was no way to assemble it with the spring out of place. And once in place, there's no place for it to go. There's simply not enough room for the spring to be able to insinuate itself between the housing and the lock. If you cut holes in the side of the slide to visualize it, there's possibility, of course, that the striker lock spring itself could get out of position. We tested the upside down striker lock spring and found that under no circumstances would it fail or create problems. It just was a little tricky to get installed. So in conclusion, we find no evidence that the striker lock spring can contribute to uncommanded discharges as has been claimed. Thank you.